at the uh, beautiful Rancho del Zocalo or Zocalo Park, which is completely decorated for the Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos. And of course, uh, one big feature of Day of the Dead is all kinds of delicious food. Exactly. And Halloween time features wonderful food. And I'm here with Martha Segala, a chef de cuisine at Cafe Orleans. Yes, sir, you're right. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Doll, for being again with us. And uh, what are we going to be making today that uh, our friends can come and enjoy at the Disneyland Resort? Well, this is part of the things that you can find in our, in our park when you're coming and enjoying, besides all the rides and the beautiful decorations that we have for Halloween. We have sandwiches, we have food, we have desserts. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what you can find. We have these delicious gingerbread vignettes. All the you... gingerbread beignets, yes. those were so good last year, you brought them back. I had to brought them back because mm -hmm. they were so delicious and mm -hmm. they were so popular. Mm -hmm. Eggno cream anglaise and this delicious jet skeleton flourless mousse cake. Oh, a flourless mousse cake. Where is yeah. that available? And Cafe Orleans as well. Cafe Orleans. Yes. Very good. But well, let's move on with the sandwich that we're going to be preparing for uh, today. I'm going to show you how we prepare it here, and also maybe you can learn and prepare it at home as well. Okay. So we're going to start with this delicious uh, freckle focaccia. Uh -huh. So this is an Italian bread. Mm -hmm. We have to split it in half. So what we're going to start adding some flavors. Everything is about flavors and oh, yes. richness and everything. So we're adding a little bit of the garlic oil. Mm. We're going to add plenty on the bottom. And this call, this sandwich is called muffaletta. A muffaletta sandwich, and this is served at? French Market. The French Market. The French Market. The French market. Okay. This uh, sandwich was originally from New Orleans. Oh. So this is a sandwich with tradition, mm -hmm. with culture, with the history behind all this. So mm -hmm. let's start with this olive, olive salad. Oh, an olive salad? What yeah. is in that salad? Well, on this salad, all the components for making this delicious salad, you can find it on my table right now. And let oh, me I see. let me name it for you. We have black pepper, mm -hmm. some uh, gardenera vegetables, some basil, mm. uh, Mediterranean olives, garlic, pepper juice, these are French uh, sweet peppers, uh, capers, uh, peppercinis, parsley, and all of our goodness. And oh, a, little, yes. a little bit of olive oil that mixed together. All that minced and, and mixed together. All means at home. You can do it at home. You can find it by, but you mm -hmm. know, when you're cooking, do it yourself. So let's do it at home. Those are the components, so don't mm -hmm. forget about that. So now that we have our olive salad here, we're going to continue with that deli. Oh, wow, look yeah, at all this. Yes, and it's all about flavors. We're thinking, having fun. We're going to have a nice meal. It has to have all the components to make it a single meal for the day. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about mort mortadella. Oh, mortadella. Black forest ham. Black forest ham. And, you know, we can we must to have cheese in our sandwiches. Uh, and cheese. And I do have to have a shout-out to our, our readers. No bacon in this sandwich, but enough other wonderful meat that you can enjoy the sandwich this very is, much. This is the original, uh, the original muffaletta. Muffaletta. But you know you can add mm -hmm. bacon if you prefer bacon too. <laughs> so we're going with a provolone cheese. Provolone, there we and go. And this is how we're placing it here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go for our third uh, meat, which one is a hard salami. Oh, yes. You know salami. Is it needs more meat. More it needs meat. more meat. This, yes. That's what it makes this sandwich. That's why uh -huh. it's so grateful and it's so popular. Uh -huh. Well, you need protein for a day at the park. And we need more cheese. More cheese, Swiss and cheese. Swiss cheese, that's My what we're using. My wife would approve of all yeah, the cheese. Exa that's what I'm saying, you know, yes, it's going to be yes, a complete yes. meal mm -hmm, full mm -hmm. of uh, flavors. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make it very tasty. We're going to oh, add yes. some tomatoes and lettuce. Very tasty. We have them ready here for you. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I like the lettuce and tomato. Yeah. In fact, I could eat a lettuce and tomato sandwich. And something that we cannot forget is that our tomatoes need to have some seasoning. So oh, okay. do not always, it's like saying, hi, tomatoes, we're here for you. <laughs> it is really important. That's how mm -hmm, I treat mm -hmm. Salt. Mm -hmm. So we were using fresh mm -hmm. uh, black pepper. And lettuce. Clean lettuce, of mm -hmm. course. Make mm -hmm. it healthy. So let's add one more layer of lettuce. There you go. Do you like mayo? Oh, yes, I oh, do. I do. There we go. Okay. And? This is going to be the last touch for this yes, delicious indeed. sandwich. Oh, look at this. This is looking fantastic. And I'm going to show you how to cut this humongous. This big, giant sandwich. The, I sometimes forget to cut the sandwiches up. but uh, So let's tie it out. That way we don't lose do shape of what is what okay. we're working here. 
one, so two, three, and four. Final. It's fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is yes, it? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we're gonna cut in half. Twist and a little there bit. It is. And here we go again. Uh huh. Half. And now, when we get this at the French market, I understand uh, it is served in a very special way for us. So, if you're in a hurry, you don't have time to cook at home. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be having it ready for you here. Uh huh. And I see we've got them right here in these wonderful coffin boxes, ready to go. If you're ready to go. Well, thank you so much, Martha, for sharing this wonderful sandwich with us. And I know our readers will love to come back, get one of these themselves, and hopefully see Martha making all these wonderful things here during Halloween time at the Disneyland Resort. Waiting for you.